Hey all, Heretic here with another Hearthstone Battleground Player's Guide, and I'm here to bring you the information you need to help you win with Yogg Saron. So get comfy and let's dive in. First, let's talk about their Hero Power Puzzle Box. Now this costs two gold and reads, add a random minion in Bob's Tavern to your hand. Give it plus one, plus one. I mean, this is a simple, effective power, economical, because you're getting minions on the cheaper a little better, and with a little luck, and if you cheese the board just right, you can get extra minions. So if you're sitting there looking at a shop and there's a couple minions you want and you see a free dealing gambler, well, buy the free dealing gambler, maybe buy the other minion. And if you still have enough gold or you sell the free dealing gambler, now you can buy the minion you want and probably hero power to get the two minions you want. So if you're really looking at the lobby, you can try to cheese it in a couple easy ways like that. So kind of like if it's turn one and there's a shop with, we'll say, two chrome wings you want and either a Celemental or the Alley Cat. What you could do is you could buy the cel uh, the Celemental or the Alley Cat, play them, sell them both copies of it, then just hit your hero power. And now you're 100% guaranteed to get one of those chrome wings buffed. This isn't completely optimal, maybe not the way you want to do it, but I'm just showing you examples of the way you can really target the minion you want if you pay a little attention to the shop and think, oh, it's only two gold, what can I do to narrow this down? You can even do it at higher turns, depending what minions are in the shop and what you're looking to buy. Not just, you know, have six minions in the shop, slam your hero power and go, well, I hope I get lucky. That's going to happen a lot, but you can cheese it sometimes. So try to keep an eye open for that to help you get those extra stats. Now we're going to get to Yogg's buddy, the Acolyte of Yogg Sarong, who is a tier three, five, four Murloc that reads... Battle cry, spin the wheel of Yog saron Now this is going to take some time to unpack, and it's probably the coolest thing about this hero by far. Uh, each of the pieces of the wheel have 19%, except for the final one, which is only 5%, but we'll go over each of them. So first, hero powers trigger an extra time is one of the results. Now you can get multiples of this during the game. So you could have your hero power for two gold, give you two, sometimes three minions. If this result comes up, it does stack. Uh, next would be three random Dark Moon Prizes. Simple, effective. Uh, the Dark Moon Prizes, there's a lot of them. If you didn't play when they were a thing, probably best going to look them up, but there's a lot of randomness in that also. It kind of fits perfectly with the wheel. Uh, next one is minions get plus three, plus three, and shuffle their stats. So yes, everything in your shop you already own will get plus three, plus three, and the stats will completely randomize and hopefully you weren't looking to sell anything because it's bonkers when it happens. Uh, if you can, you maybe you want to move a minion off the board who you know you don't want just to make sure it doesn't happen. But I, it's so random. I just say have fun with it and go with it. Uh, next is consume Bob's Tavern and refresh it. So think like a fell bat when at the end of your turn, it will eat all the demons. Well, in this case, it just eats the entire shop, gives it to your shop that you have in play and then refreshes it for you. Great randomness unless you wanted something in the shop because then it's just gone and there's nothing you can do. And finally is the Rod of Roasting. There's only a 5% chance of this. and You will cast Pyro Buff plus four plus four to all units until one hits your bartender or the hero. So what it's going to do is it's going to randomly target uh, your hero, the bartender, all the minions in the shop and all the minions in your board. It's just going to hit them with plus four plus four randomly targeting. Now, the moment it hits you or the bartender, it stops. But theoretically, or I should say potentially, it can go forever. It can just keep buffing. I have had it happen 15, 20 times sometimes. It's rare that you get this. It's even rare that it doesn't immediately target the bartender, which drives you crazy. But that's kind of Yogg in a nutshell. It's completely random. It's, it's awesome. So what this gives you is insane power spike. When you play this, depending what the result is, you can get some completely bonkers things if you've heard that can happen. Uh, the turn I get this, usually about turn seven to play this buddy because I will just tear up immediately, slam it and let the insanity ensue. See what happens. Uh, it is a battle cry, so it's affected by brand. So typically, yeah, you're not going to have a brand for the first one, but if you get there's two more later on, or if you triple it, yes, brand will double it. And it's kind of amazing. So a lot of fun, completely random. And one really important note I didn't know for a long time. If you click the screen while the wheel is spinning, 
it will dramatically shorten that spin. Now that's not a big deal if you're playing the normal one because it's just going to spin a couple times and it's going to give you the result. But if you've got a gold one it's spinning twice, if you've got a brand it's spinning four times, we're not even thinking about golden brand. There's a lot of animations. And if you don't click that screen, you will not have any time to do anything. Those wheels will spin. And by the time they're done, your turn's over and you won't be able to do anything else. You'll have a handful of cards. Nothing's going to be positioned right. Everything's going to be bonkers. It's a lot of fun. But you don't want to watch all that because you just don't have the time for it. Uh, usually when I'm playing Yogg, I will just do Warrior Curve. Uh, I find it works good with him. Uh, it gives you a nice power base to start and sets you up with a nice full board for when you get to play that buddy and get the completely random stuff. Heaven forbid you get pyro buff, you want to make sure you have a full board and as many minions as the shop as possible because you want to make sure it's got more targets than your bartender in your face. As soon as it hits them, show stops. Now, when it comes to the minions that work with Yogg, that's easy. You can play anything you want. Your buddy is a murloc, so that might point you in that direction. But the one minion that you really want to find, if is anything, is Bran. Regardless of what your build is, Bran is great because when that buddy hits the field the first or second or maybe third time, crazy effects. You definitely want to have a Bran online and ready to go when you get this. Now, when it comes to countering Yogg, it's just a normal game of BGs. You don't have to do anything crazy. Just tend to remember because they're using a Murloc buddy, they tend to lean towards Murlocs, but lobby to lobby, there's nothing holding to them that. It's every player can do something different. So just keep an eye on what they're playing and just remember when they get their buddy, when they get that triple or additional two buddies later on, they're gonna have a massive spike. So just be prepared for those turns. Yogg is an extremely fun hero. Uh, I hated playing it before the buddy, but while buddies exist, this is the reason to play him, just for the acolyte of Yogg Saran. You get an insane power spike. You get crazy turns. If you have a brand, it's magnified double. It's just crazy. He's not a top tier hero. If you want to win every game, he's not who you want to play. If you want a fun, completely random change of pace that you can go, well, here's why I clearly won easily, or well, this is why we died. And it's just random fault, but it was so fun. This is what Yogg does. I love Yogg. He's one of my favorite heroes. I play him virtually every time he's offered to me. And if they take buddies away, I probably won't touch him again unless his hero power becomes spin the wheel. It's just that much fun to play it. Uh, in the end, I've attached a link with some gameplay. If you're looking to see how I pilot them, stay tuned. I have more guides on the way. I hope you learned a few things today and had a good time. I know I did. Bye.